Hey, carbon dioxide or simply CO2 is good for us. Surprised? I was too. But in the next few minutes, you will go away with the reason. So watch till the end. Okay, so let's start. You, I, and simply or every organism on this earth takes in oxygen or simply O2 and gives out carbon dioxide or simply CO2. Pretty simple, huh? But here's where the problem begins. We all know that life simply wouldn't exist if CO2 was not there. But people today have made up themselves that CO2 is bad and we need to completely remove CO2 and that's pretty much wrong. Okay, so back to the question that how is CO2 good for us? Okay, so a disclaimer here. Whatever facts and figures I'm stating here are not my own research. These are facts verified by NASA in a magazine called Nature Climate Change and I have provided the link to it in the description. Okay, so back to the answer of how is CO2 good for Earth. Okay, so basically everybody knows that plants intake CO2 during photosynthesis to produce food. So according to simple logic, increase in CO2 means increase in the number of plants as there will be abundant amount of CO2 for them to undergo photosynthesis. Moreover, CO2 helps in increasing crop yields as it increases temperature of places and saves the crops from dying from frost. So maybe you have thought increasing CO2 is good for Earth, right? Wrong. Things like this are basically not as black or white as they seem. They lie in this area called the grey area because you simply cannot decide whether something like this is good or bad because they lie in this middle part and to stick back to our discussion of whether CO2 is good or bad, we can simply conclude that increasing CO2 may increase crop yield but alongside it destroys the ecosystem at the Arctic. If it helps in global greening, then it also contributes to global rise in sea level which would engulf huge amounts of land area not leaving behind the land which would have contributed to global greening. So basically, it's just disputed. What you can do is simply stop. Now, stop wasting electricity, stop driving cars for short distances and stop other things which they basically teach in the primary classes because what these things do is not increase CO2 but they increase a gas which is not under dispute and is completely stated harmful and that's CFCs or chlorofluorocarbons and they simply destroy the ozone and your lungs. So, we have a problem and now a solution too. So, let's solve it.